wasn't I better off if I'd gone to the court? At least I wouldn't have had to spend so much of money. You know, so there are these uh, things which we need to look at. And uh, like I said, you have uh, judges. Uh, I know of uh, a couple of judges in Delhi, retired judges, uh, who are looking at arbitration as a profession, you know, rather than as a sinecure. It's a profession for them. They're looking at it as a lawyer would look at it, that let's get uh, over with this case. Let's get over with this arbitration. And they're as busy as any busy lawyer. Um, on the other hand, you also have instances, uh, I know because uh, in my capacity as uh, the Chief Justice, I have to decide applications under Section 11 of the uh, Arbitration and Conciliation Act. When I was in uh, Guwahati, I had cases of 2010, 2009, 2008. Applications were pending. The lawyers didn't seem to be particularly interested in uh, you know, having the arbitrator appointed. I've had the same experience here in uh, Hyderabad as well. Just uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I had to look at a case of 2009. So for three years, you know, this person had filed an application for the appointment of an arbitrator. He didn't seem to be particularly keen to have the arbitrator appointed. And uh, he had been taking adjournments. I was keen to have the you know, case disposed of so that you know, the parties could get along with the dispute. But both the lawyers didn't seem to be particularly interested. Well, it's just another case for them. There was this lack of enthusiasm. There was this lack of professionalism. And three years, well, almost three years, uh, have gone by only on the question of the appointment of an arbitrator. Now, you can imagine. Maybe, you know. So, if there is this absence of um, uh, professionalism, I think that that is something that is going to kill arbitration uh, completely. And we need to check that uh, at the earliest. There's a lack of accountability and transparency. What remedy do I have if an arbitrator decides that he is not going to expedite the hearing of the case? Mr. Raju said that we should have a time limit. In the 1940 Act, there was a time limit. But that time limit was uh, breached more often than it was adhered to. And it has been given up in the 1996 Act. So even if you have a time limit and the arbitrator says, well, I'm going to take it easy, what, what remedy does uh, any party have? He can't force the arbitrator to decide within the time. He'll say, well, I can't do it. You know, 